Nice. I know the lighting is bad. I'm working on it. This is all new. We're building this as we go. I'm buying toys. It's part of the journey. I leave tomorrow morning for Nashville with a layover in Vegas. Yes. And then on to New York City a couple days later to go to a taping of Saturday Night Live. It's been a lifelong dream to see SNL Live, so this is gonna be incredible. My favorite thing about Burbank Airport is there's never a line in security. So let's see if I can leave this GoPro on and see what it looks like inside the x-ray machine. I was very disappointed on what happens inside an x-ray machine. Two, I'm at the Las Vegas airport in the morning, not hungover. It is very weird, very disorienting. And I don't have enough time to gamble or anything, so I just have to sit here, this beautiful backdrop. And I get on a plane and go to Nashville. But I'll give you a tour, I'll show you around. Thank you so very much. Incredible. On a tour, JW Marriott in Nashville. Bam! Look at that view. Oh, turn down service chocolate. Ooh, a shower. And the city. Is this a weird angle? Yes. Is it because there's an awesome skyline behind me? Also, yes. My knees are gonna hurt from sitting like this. It's gonna take me 20 seconds to stand back up. I'm basically in Nashville for a day. Last night we went to Marvin's Barbecue. Pro tip, ask to sit at the bar. We skipped like an hour and a half long wait. Food was incredible. We'll show a clip now. <laughs> Bam. I have a little bit of time today. I'm gonna to drive about 10 miles outside of downtown to Prince's Hot Chicken. It's arguably the first ever hot chicken shack in Nashville. I know Hattie B's gets like a little bit more buzz, but this is supposedly the OG. And it's in a scary part of town. And then later, I'm gonna to go to a Kane Brown show. Okay. Oh God. That really hurt. As you can see, I'm not eating at Prince's. It wasn't the safest part of town. I was filming out front and a gentleman politely asked me not to film him. And he said, I don't wanna be on any cameras. And I was like, cool, man, all good. So I got my hot chicken and I drove far away to a nice little, look at that little house. I got the medium spice. It goes plain, mild, medium, hot, super hot, triple X, like all the way up. And I heard people online saying, if you've never been here before, start with mild. And I was like, come on, I could, t I could take medium. And then driving to this little area, like my sinuses already cleared just from smelling the chicken. So we'll see how I do actually consuming it. How about that? Is that not a thing of beauty? I got the tenders. They only make tenders on Thursdays. So I had to do it. Start with a fry. Okay. That was just a seasoned french fry, that's not spicy. Okay, I'm gonna go in on this tender. I'm actually a little nervous, is that weird? <laughs> oh shit, I can already feel it. Wow. The chicken is, oh, <laughs> the chicken is really tender. It's moist. It's a really good piece of chicken. It got me in the back of the throat though when I swallowed. Okay, good thing I got these fries to wash it down. Wow. I don't know how many of these I'm gonna be able to eat. Oh, I already got the hiccups, fuck. Oh God. Okay. 
I'm actually out of breath. My nose is running. My nose is running, but also my sinuses are wide open. I Maybe that makes sense, I don't know. My lips hurt, the throat's okay. I randomly have a Halls in my pocket. It's the best feeling in the world right now. And I drink a lot of Diet Coke. Prince's Hot Chicken is incredible. There's gonna be a long wait. It's gonna be worth it. You might get harassed by a dude for filming him, but the end result is the first hot chicken place in Nashville. And I don't know if it's the best or not, People like Hattie B's a lot, but sometimes you just have to go with the original. Oh, don't eat the bread. The bread just sits there and sucks up all of the hotness. So it's even hotter than the chicken. I made that mistake. And get the fries. It helps washing it all down. Oh, tell people what's happening. We're going to Saturday Night Live. We're in New York City. We got in last night and went and had dinner and saw Mike Birbiglia and he was incredible. And now we're going to Saturday Night Live to see Jonah Hill and Maggie Rogers. And what, how are we getting there? And we're gonna walk there because there's a bomb threat in Harold Park, which is like three blocks away from here. Oh, and also we're walking down 26 flights of stairs. You know, I couldn't really film inside SNL because I wasn't trying to get kicked out, but it was awesome. Jonah Hill was hilarious. Maggie Rogers sounded great. Pete Davidson was super Pete Davidson about it, which was perfect. I'm walking back to my hotel now. It's cold as fuck. I don't miss New York at all. It's super loud. I yelled at an ambulance earlier. Gina calls it New York Rick. I hear it's 75 degrees at home. So uh, I'm going home now. Maybe there's footage of New York after this. Maybe there's just a plane taking off from JFK. Hey, here, here's this. You wanna see New York? This is New York. Hey, my name's Rick and I quit my job. It's awesome. Why don't you follow me on social or listen to my podcast or like and subscribe to this.